Today's video is going to be about a 5 inch TFT monitor. Now I'm going to be using this on a Raspberry Pi project coming up here in the next few days. Uh, they tout this as a car rear view system. It's got some mounting stuff that you can mount it on the dashboard of your car with. But the question is, you know, how good of a monitor is it? Well, we're going to test it out here in just a minute, and I'll go over to the bench and we'll take a quick look. Okay, so uh, this is a 12-volt system um, specifically designed for vehicle rear view systems if you're trying to adapt uh, a, a, like a backup camera type thing to a car that doesn't have one built in. It's a 5 inch screen and this will do fine for the project I'm working on and it's relatively inexpensive. So let's take a look and see what we get for our money. Alright so here we have a uh, uh, what appears to be a suction cup mount. Okay that's pretty cool. I don't know if we'll use that or not. Uh, here's a mount that's a little more permanent like. We've got the 3M sticker on the back. Uh, here's your power adapter. It looks like it does not have the uh, the typical uh, uh, car charger adapter, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make our own little power supply. And here's the monitor itself. Uh, this little guy, uh, it is a standard composite video, which is fine for what we're going to be doing. Um, and it is 5 inch. Here's your menu, plus and minus adapters. Looks like your little brackets uh, just kind of snap right in here. Boom, now you're in business. And uh, we'll kind of see how this works. And uh, hopefully you will go from there. I'm going to make up a little uh, 12 volt adapter and we'll power it up and see what she does. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the power part of this project was actually easier than what I had thought I was going to do. Um, <clears throat> I was going to try to find a 12 volt power supply in my junk box and wire this into it. But what I found is a little uh, net gear uh, adapter probably from a Wi-Fi device which had the 12 volts which had the proper connector on it also so let's power this guy up here real quick and there we go on signal very good all right so I plugged my little uh, my little Raspberry Pi in here let me get rid of this thing the screen a little better okay so here's the uh, the screen um, and you may have to do some adjustments to get the size down a little bit but the Raspberry Pi I'm using I'm just coming off the, uh, the VGA or excuse me the uh, composite video uh, jack on it and uh, it seems to do okay it's not a bad picture now like I say there there are better more expensive uh, screens than this. This is small 5 inch for the project I'm going to be showing you here in the next couple of videos. This will be fine. The main purpose of this screen is just a visual reference to show me that the, that the Pi is actually turned on and, and functioning because it's going to be staying on for a long period of time. So here is the, again I'm going to show you this, um, what the box looks like. Okay, uh, stand security TFT monitor, and like I say, if you if you just want something to 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 get a you know a little bit of a picture on to make sure you know you're you're monitoring something, or if you need it as a car battery backup, the little screen appears to to do its job and be pretty good. Uh, there will be a link to this guy uh, from Amazon where I bought it. Uh, down in the description, so check that out if you're interested. Alright, that's it for now.
Thank you for watching.